Hey, hey, try. Welcome back to another video. This is Ray 2 practice question number 42. So stay tuned. OK, so let's dive into it. So. During the start of a session, the social worker informs the client of their overdue balance as the social worker has not received payment for the previous session. What best reflects the social worker's actions? A clarification, B summarization, C confrontation, or D education. You know how we do? Pause the video, reread the question, reread the answer choices, select your best answer, unpause the video, and then we'll dive into the explanation. Okay. If you picked C, you are correct. Why? So let's jump into A. Clarification, uh, that is incorrect. Clarification involves the social worker asking the client to clarify, make clear, uh, or simplify what they said so the social worker can have an accurate understanding to avoid any misinterpretation. Because again, we're clarifying what was said. And an example of that, the client states, I'm going to let my boss have it tomorrow. We want to clarify their vague statement to determine if it's a safety concern or not. What do you mean by you're going to let your boss have it tomorrow? Because if they were to say something along the lines of, I'm going to, you know, physically harm them is like, OK, thank you for clarifying that vague statement. So now we know it's one of those terror soft type of situations. Or if they were to say, oh, I'm going to let my boss have it tomorrow by not volunteering to do additional work around the office like I normally do. And it's like, oh, OK, so that's not a safety terror soft type of situation because we clarify what their statement was. For B, summarization, this is incorrect. Why? So with summarization, this is when the social worker highlights the main points of what was said by the client. Example, the client tells the social worker about their childhood and the social worker summarizes what the client said by highlighting the main events that occurred within their childhood. Again, summarizing. If someone said, hey, can you summarize this movie, uh, summarize this book? Uh, remember, spark notes reading a summary of a, of a book and everything, right? Uh, we're just kind of condensing all of that information. We're not exactly getting it to uh, clarifying or the other ones mentioned. We're literally just taking the, for in the terms of social work, the main points that were said by the, by the client, and we're just condensing that information by doing so. And when we get to C, this is the correct answer. Why? So with confrontation, Sometimes words can have a negative connotation associated with them, such as the word no. Um, the word no isn't a bad word. No is used as a response to decline or stop something. Confrontation being used by the social worker in this professional context is completely appropriate. This is when the social worker confronts, challenges, or addresses a particular issue with the client or confront something inconsistent being said or done by the client by bringing it to their attention. Example, in this question, the social worker is addressing the issue of non-payment with the client by bringing this particular issue to their attention, aka confronting them about it. Again, I know um, there are certain words and, and everything where we can associate um, in society where it's like, wait, confrontation, that's a bad thing, that's aggressive, and other, and it can be used in that context, but in this social work professional context, confrontation is completely acceptable. And again, when we're doing it, we're not going up to the client, but like, well, <laughs> where my money at? You know, <laughs> we're doing it in a professional manner. So I just want to make that um, that clear. And even um, words that are used in society where we can associate it um, with a certain context. So for example, um, the word intimate. If someone were to say, oh, I have an intimate relationship with my parents, you know, someone could be like, oh my gosh, that's disgusting. You have an intimate relationship with your parents. And it's like, intimate means close. It's often used, the word intimate, it's often used in a romantic context, but it doesn't mean it has to be used. It's just often used in that regard. So again, just being mindful of the context of how the words are being used. And then when we go to D, education, this is incorrect. Why? So education is when the social worker is informing, teaching, or educating the client about something they may not know to provide insight and help manage their expectations for their given situation. Example, 
educating the client about the cycle of violence so they can have a better understanding about their situation. Once educated, the client can make a more informed decision about whether they want to stay in their relationship or leave, and that would be self-determination. So again, with education, we're literally educating the client about something they may not be aware of. And when we scroll back up to the question, during the start of the session, the social worker informs the client of their overdue balance as the social worker has not received payment for the previous session. What best reflects the social worker's actions? We're not exactly clarifying. And some of us may say like, wait a second, Ray, isn't there some clarification as far as like the, the, the balance not being paid and, what best describes what's going on is more of that confrontation because the social worker is bringing it to their awareness, not necessarily clarifying where it's like, wait, what was my overdue balance type of thing? Or like, how, how much is, are the sessions? And it's not summarizing where it's, okay, let me give the main points of like services or something like that. Or, and it's not educating, we're not educating about, like, remember, like, at the start of services of, okay, so this is how much uh, the fee is going to be, this is the the hours of program, and da, 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 da. That's not really a reflection. It's more so speaking to, again, see confrontation. Okay, Tribe, that's it for today's video. Um, again, that was Ray 2 practice question number 42. And remember, you know what I say? You know, doing at least two practice questions a day and at least one practice exam a month helps keep the exam anxiety at bay. We want this material to be, you know, at the forefront of our mind, stay consistent with our studies. And again, I know life can happen. I say life be life in sometimes. And at default, still doing at least two practice questions a day. You know, we're still getting some information, some studying in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a social work friend, because we don't want to be licensed by ourselves. And as always, you got this. Stay consistent. Remind yourself of your why. Why do you want to pass? I know this, this process could just be kind of, but we're doing it for a reason. You got this. All right, tribe. I'll see you next video.